Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lorena and I'm here to talk to you guys today about one of my favorite beauty products like ever, 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 ever because it just has so many multiple uses and it excels in all of them. Like, how can you get any better than that? It really is. Like, I truly believe it's a miracle oil and I'm not just here as a bandwagon or as a... Um, I'm not just here like promoting or whatever like that. No, this is the hard truth of what I believe is just awesome because of like how much I've used it. I've used it for months now. So I'm talking about it from experience and because I've tried multiple essential oils of like a bunch of essential oils, like just a lot. And this is by far my favorite. And the one I use the most is just so convenient. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys right here. This is the one that I have. It's called um, Radha Rosehip Oil, um, USDA Organic. It's four fluid ounces, and I got it from Amazon. I believe it was under $20, maybe like $17. Uh, I'll put the link in the description of the one that I bought. And it's just lasted me so long. Like Usually when I buy essential oils, they come in this tiny little bottle, and it doesn't last me that long especially if you're using it on a daily basis so but this one i'm using it as a daily basis and it's lasting me so long and it's just inexpensive like can you get anything better than that like can i get a thumbs up for that one come on it's so awesome and if you see i still have a long way to go i've only used up to here so i have all this rest left to use and i've been using it for quite some time now so yeah, it's just, I'm going to talk to you guys today about this and stay tuned for that. Okay, so rosehip oil. What is rosehip oil? Where does it come from? Okay, so it comes from the rose flower, but it's not from the petals. That's the rose essential oil, but this rose hip seed oil, sometimes call it seed oil, comes from the fruit, like the seed and the fruit, seed fruit left behind after the petals fall off the rose and it's cold pressed into this oil and i believe where they grow or where they do this the most is in chile so that's where it comes from south america and it's full of vitamin a c e and essential fatty acids yeah and it's good for a wide range of things and it has multiple uses. So what is it good for? It's good for anti-aging. It has um, the vitamin A that it has within it, helps with penetrating in deeper levels of your skin, and the vitamin C helps um, stimulate collagen and skin rejuvenation, and it protects you also from sun, sun damage, so UV radiation because of the vitamin C. It's not replacing sunscreen. I use this and sunscreen actually when I, um, in my routine. So, but it does help protect against the sun at a certain level. And the antioxidant benefits that it also has within it helps fight free radicals. So that's why it's so anti-aging. So it helps with fine lines and wrinkles and it helps, you know, smooth out your skin with texture. So coming from that, it additionally, because it helps with fine lines and wrinkles, it also helps with scarring. So if you've had maybe um, acne marks or dark spots or scars, it can actually help improve the, like, the texture and the pigmentation of it. And I have seen it for myself improve my overall skin tone so it really helps level out your skin tone and it absorbs right into your skin it doesn't leave your skin feeling oily um it does have a, a glowy dewy feel to your skin i'm not saying your skin is gonna dry right up in your skin but it it doesn't feel like greasy um how some other oils might seem so what do i use rosehip oil for so I use rosehip oil. I first started using rosehip oil because I'm very, sometimes I'm very distrustful on what I use on my face. So I'm really careful. Um, so what I first started using rosehip oil with was just my hair. And then I moved to my lips and then I tried it a little bit on like certain spots on my face. And then I finally decided to try it on as a moisturizer for my face. And I fell in love with it and I started using it in the morning and the night. So 
I think I first started using only at night because in the morning, actually, I don't remember if I started using the morning first or at night first, but I just found that it worked either way better because at night the oil, um, it just helped me wake up feeling more dewy, um, and actually glowy and all the good stuff that you want to see because I think why it helps with that is because of the skin rejuvenation and all the vitamins that it has within it. So, also during the daytime, it helps protect from the sun and it helps you kind of keep that youthful, I woke up like this, um, look. So yeah, and what I love about it is that it does not break you out. It doesn't cause, I wouldn't, it doesn't clog your pores. It doesn't, well, it doesn't clog mine. And I've used different oils before. So like when I use, um, oh, I've used hope oil before, coconut oil, and they are, they seem to clog my pores, just my experience. But rose oil just actually did not do this to me, which I was so surprised. And I was like, wow, an, an oil that I can use on my skin, like morning and night, and it does not do that. And if any of you have heard in the market of a Retin-A, which is tretinoin, is a, like a derivative of vitamin A, this has vitamin A. So it has similar benefits, um, which it makes it so much awesome or so much cooler, right? <laughs> and it's all natural. So yeah, I've replaced it with all my moisturizers which have a bunch of other ingredients in it that you really don't need on your skin or your face. And this just has one ingredient, which is 100% pure organic rosehip oil, cold press, and that's it. Is it getting any better than that? I don't know. You tell me. Tell me if there's something better than rosehip oil, and I will try it. But you have to promise me you have to try it first, and then tell me if it's gonna... <laughs> okay, um... Yeah, also can be used in many of like skincare recipes. So if you're making your own mask, if you're um, making your own lip exfoliation. Oh, and I meant wanted to mention this is good for um, acne prone skin as well. So if you have that type of skin, even though I don't recommend putting it on active breakouts, but if you have that type of skin, you, I would say you don't have to worry with rosehip oil. Um, it's actually gonna help you help you um, with your skin problems and also it can be used to treat rosacea too or melasma. Uh, I wanted to show you how it actually looks like as well. So it has like this um, kind of golden color to it and uh, it comes in this nice, um, what is this called? Yeah, so let me just not put too much. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna put it on my skin here so you just can feel, so you can see the texture. Um, it has this color, but it blends right into your skin. So, yeah, it'll have this like yellowy ish color, but it'll blend right in, and it'll just take a couple minutes for it to be fully absorbed onto your skin, but just kind of um, massage your skin when you're placing it. Um, really get it in, because it's gonna penetrate into deeper levels of your skin and what I recommend if you're considering it using rosehip oil on your face would be to first test it out in a spot see how you react to the oil and then try it on your whole face and once you try it on your whole face then I would recommend you know paying attention closely to your reactions the next couple days seeing if it works out for you if it's obviously if something is working out for you stop using it but if if something if you're seeing maybe um, no changes or better, then continue using it because changes are gradual. It's not an overnight thing. You do have to be using it for a couple weeks to really notice its benefits. Uh, so yeah, those are just kind of like my tips on how to start using your product because like I mentioned before, I've used different essential oils, some that did work well for my skin, some that didn't. And um, I've learned through trial and error that it's really, really, crucially important to test spot and to um to be aware if things are working for you or not and that's it so that's that and i just think it's awesome and if you guys get a chance to try it uh let me know what you guys think and if you do use rose oil and you think all these benefits are like 
spot on what you've been seeing then thumbs up this video or if thumbs up if you want to try it yourself as well comment if you have any questions and yeah i hope you guys get the chance to get this and try it out and see the benefits for yourself and yeah subscribe for more videos like this and that's all i have for you guys today Bye bye